Hey guys, we're back with another exciting coding video. Ooh. It's actually the morning for me today, which is like a first. So much better doing these videos in the morning than after like eight hours of class and a couple hours of studying or challenges. So much more invigorated. Alright, so here we are on Code Wars again, and we are doing the bouncing balls problem. I don't even know how to say that, but it's a 6Q, whatever that is. Alright, so here's the problem. Child is playing with a ball on the nth floor of a tall building. The height of this floor, H, is known. He drops the ball out the window, and then the ball bounces, for example, to two-thirds of its height, so a .66 bounce. His mother looks out of a window 1.5 meters from the ground. How many times will a mother see the ball pass in front of a window, including when it's falling and bouncing? And three conditions must be met. The float parameter h in meters must be greater than zero. The float parameter bounce must be greater than zero and less than one. And the float parameter window must be less than h. If all three conditions are fulfilled, return a positive integer. Otherwise, return negative one. Note, the ball can only be seen if the height of the rebounding ball is strictly greater than the window parameter. Right, okay. So, already right off the bat, we have these three things that we know we need to address. All these different conditions that must be met. So, just gonna undo this like usual. So let's meet these conditions. If h is greater than zero and bounce is less than one, and also bounce is greater than zero and window is less than the actual height. So these are the three conditions right here. So if all these things are true, we'll continue on to our equation. Otherwise, Oops, we're going to go ahead and return negative 1. So now how can we do our conditions? So we know he's going to be dropping the ball, and obviously his height is higher than the window. So we're going to open up a variable called count that's going to store how many times the mom sees it. And we're going to make count equal to 1, because no matter where he is, she's going to see it at least once the first time when he drops it. Then we're going to take h, which is the height that the ball was dropped from, and we're going to multiply it by the actual bounce. So like they'll change the parameter to 0.66 or, you know, 1, whatever, and it'll then um, reduce it to whatever the new height is, which we can then compare that new height to the height of the window and as long as h is greater than the window because it did specify here it must be strictly greater than the window parameter so as long as h is greater than window we're going to increase the count by two so you might be like well what why are we increasing the count by two and not one and that's because the ball is going to go up and she'll see it, and it's higher than the height of the window, and then it's going to go down. Which means that every time that h is greater than the height of the window, that means the ball had to first go up past her and then down past her. So it's increasing by a count of 2. Then after that's all done, we're going to do h equals h time bounce again. So pretty much this first parameter was just to reduce it by the first bounce. So we're letting count equal 1, and then we're re-establishing h is this since it already went down past her, and it's on the point of bouncing back up. Then it's comparing that in the while statement, proving true and coming through, and then we have to do it again because now the ball's going to hit the ground again, and we need to redefine h to pass back in up here to see if it's still greater than the window after the next bounce. Uh, and we need that to return count. Great, so that's, that's it. It's a pretty simple one. And there we 
we go. All passed. It's pretty quick code. Um, this one had me scratching my head for a while until I realized about the, the count, too. It's really just taking something that's, that's um, you know, this is basically what I did. I was, so you guys can understand what I'm doing here. I was like, all right, so the kid's up here. The mom's somewhere down here in a window. They're both in windows. And this kid's like, screw this ball. And throws it out. I guess I should make it red. So that's the ball. Yeah, let's just make the people, I don't know, gray. Whoops, wow. I'm horrible at drawing. It doesn't matter. All right. I'll just use a red line. So obviously the ball's going down. That means initially we need a plus one. We then need to reevaluate the next height that it's going to. And if this is greater than the actual height of the window itself, you can see that's one view she's seeing it at. And then as it goes to go down again, that's the next view. So like in the beginning, that had me super confused. I'm like, how am I going to get calculate if it's this or that, and blah, 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 blah. But as long as this then became that, and that is greater than this, then obviously she saw it twice besides the first time it went down. So it's pretty simple. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have questions, you can leave them in the comment. Again, I'm going to be doing these probably every day, maybe a couple times a day. I'm not really sure. It depends on my classes. But it has been really fun making these videos and going through all these coding challenges with you. So I hope you guys stick around.